Back to the futures market, how we're going to open this morning. Down for the Dow, up for the Nasdaq, but not by much. And look who's here. Ryan Payne is back. All right, Ryan. Last time you were here, I think it was about three weeks ago, I got you on tape saying, here comes a rally. Well, you were right. We did have a rally. So where are we going from here? Well, you put the pressure on, and I appreciate you acknowledging that, that we did have that rally. Uh, you got it so, right. But it's a good point. So it's like, where do we go from here, right? Earnings so far have been pretty good, right? We've beat expectations yep. for the most part. Coke came out, great earnings yesterday. We've had some big beats like Lockheed Martin. Mm -hmm. They're going to be buying back stock, just phenomenal. So I think the big question comes back to what Lauren was talking about. Housing prices coming down. Is that going to feed into inflation? Is inflation going to come down here? Is the Fed going to finally say, OK, let's back off a little bit? I think they will. You're in the camp that says, yes, the Federal Reserve, not exactly pivot, but slow down the rate of interest rate hikes. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. You don't yeah. know that. You're speculating. I'm speculating because you can't trust the Fed. They lied to us last year, Stuart, when they said that they weren't even thinking about raising in interest rates. Now they're saying, you know what, we're not, we're not going to back off on interest rates. I suspect eventually here inflation numbers are going to soften a little bit, and they're going to have to take a pause, and that's going to be extremely bullish for the market. Yeah, exactly. I mean, which exactly. I think means the market's going to go much higher. Here. If you've got a pause from the Fed in raising rates, and inflation is not quite so hot as it was, yes. that sets the tone for a market rally? 100%. And also, you already have earnings coming in better than expected. Next year, earnings should be up. So there's a lot of catalysts here. And the one thing I always mention is money managers just have too much money sitting in cash. They're not sitting here listening to me on your show in the morning, Stuart. <laughs> and they're going to need to get invested here because they're underinvested at the highest level since really like 2000. I've got to do this real fast. This is the week for big tech earnings. Yes. To me, it's make or break for the market. It could be that big a deal. What say you? I think yes and no. For the S&P, yes, it's 25% of its capitalization, yep. so tech is very, very important. But for the overall market, I, I don't think it, it's that big a deal. It's, it's one sector. It's not the most important sector moving forward because rates going higher. It's, tech's going to be challenged. It's not going to do as well in the next couple of years as it did the last couple of years. Okay, I'll leave it at this. You are setting the stage for another rally because you think the Fed will ease up on interest rate hikes and inflation will not be so hot. Are you, that was me on tape saying that. You, you said it on tape, right? I said it on tape. Next time, either, you know, it's going to be do or die for me, Stuart. Okay. I'll be, we'll under, I'll be under the microscope. We will see you again soon. <laughs> and that's a fact. Thanks, Ryan. Good right. stuff.